Democratic and Republican hopefuls shared the stage with a cast of characters last night on Long Island. News 4's Michelle McClintock has the details. At times, it seemed almost comical. Rap. It's too damn hot. From Jimmy McMillan and his mysterious black gloves to the former Manhattan Madam Kristen Davis from the Anti-Prohibition Party, referring to the stock transfer tax. Businesses will leave this state quicker than Carl Palladino at a gay bar. The debate for the next governor of New York was hardly a debate. It was more like a question and answer session with all seven candidates, each receiving equal time. For most of the candidates, this was the first time they addressed New York voters. We're already cut to the bones. It's time for us to get the wealthy. The Libertarian Party's Warren Redlick wants to cut fat bureaucratic salaries to help the state. We can save nearly three billion dollars if we cap bureaucrat pay at hundred thousand dollars a year and cap pensions at seventy five thousand progressive tax reform is what will solve new york's fiscal problem according to howie hawkins empire zones enterprise zones empowerment zones those are tax breaks for the rich not money for the people that live there and people complain oh the poor are getting too much money well, if they're getting so much money why are they still poor for those who tuned in to see the gloves come off between republican carl paladino and democrat andrew cuomo you may have left disappointed i'm going to lower income taxes by ten percent i'm going to cut new york state spending by twenty percent i'm going to demand eight-year term limits andrew cuomo took a page from local downsizing advocates and talked about shrinking governments he also mentioned western new york we need to get the power from upstate new york uh... from western new york low-cost power from canada down to the metropolitan area in new york city now, he contacted Andrew Cuomo's campaign this morning to get a clarification on what he meant by getting power from Western New York and taking it to New York City. We have not heard back as of this noon. Carl Palladino's campaign said this morning that he talked to some of the other candidates last night and mentioned doing another debate upstate, possibly Buffalo. A second debate has not yet been set. Reporting live in the newsroom, Michelle McClintock, News 4.